All right, guys, today I'm going to show you how to wire a relay and what some of the applications are for car audio. And then at the end of the video, I'll show you how I use a few relays in my truck to turn on amps and alternators from switches. So without further ado, here's the video. All right, to wire a relay in a vehicle, it's really simple. You have a 12 volt in, which is number 87 on the back of your relay. You have a ground, which is number 85 on the back of your relay. You have a your switch wire or remote wire in, which will be number 86 on the back of the relay. And then you have a 30, which goes to your accessories. Um, now, accessories could be fans, it could be amps, it could be lights, it could be anything you want it to be. So that's some of the applications. Um, a lot of people use a sw toggle switch to a relay to turn on either alternators, their amps, some lights, the, some amp fans. The possibilities are really endless. And if you ever are in doubt, you can look at the back of the relay and you'll see that all of the letters are marked. So, I mean, I'm sorry, all of the numbers are, are clearly marked. So it's really easy to connect. Now I'll show you how I wire this relay in my truck to turn on my amps. Sorry if you hear a little bit of a whine. This is a, I have a power supply running, charging my Yinglong battery right now. So I'm gonna go through and hook this relay up in my truck. This one is to power up my amps. So first thing is I'm gonna go with the 85, which is right here. I'm gonna hook up the ground. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take an 80, the power to the 87, which is right here. Okay, then I have my remote in, which is this one, and this goes to the 86, just right here. And then, last but not least, I have these, this wire, which goes to all of my four amps, and that goes to the 30, which is right here. And then you basically have a functioning remote. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you how I have this working in my truck. Alright, so in my truck you'll see I have the radio on, but I don't have any of the amps on. See, there's no lights on any of them. So, I have everything hooked up off this toggle switch here. Channel 3 turns on all of my um, amps. So basically what it does is there's a toggle switch that engages and turns on a remote wire leading to the input side, the remote input side of the relay. So if you go ahead and hit this, see it's on, see the voltage change, and all three amps turn on. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn off the toggle switch. All three amps, I'm sorry, all four amps turn off. So that's pretty much the basics of how that works. So I made this video showing you basically how to how a relay could be used in a car audio application. Now the reason why I made this video is because I had a question related to amp pop when they turn on or off their multiple amplifiers, they hear a big boom, you know, um, through the speakers. Now what usually happens is if you have a head unit and you're, you have a remote wire and you're turning on multiple amplifiers, um, the head unit can't handle the load and it creates a pop. Now, if you wire a remote wire to a relay, then to your amps, what happens is you get a soft, gradual turn on, so you won't get that big pop that you hear sometimes people complain about in car audio. So the question I had was related to that, but a relay is a valuable tool to turn on alternators, to run multiple amps, to run lights, 
possibilities around this to run basically all of your accessories. Um, if you have any questions, send me a PM, comment below. Remember, like and subscribe. Thank you.